As things are moving along here, Brad's now getting ready to put the head on. Thing with that little thing. Oh yeah. That's strong enough? Oh yeah. That'll be strong enough. If it isn't, it'll only fall as far as the floor. <laughs> yep. Better tilt the back of it. One of the important things to do before putting the head on, Brad, is now cleaning it with Varsol. This has to be completely spotless, no contaminations on it. Just got to nope. lock on the edge of the yep. wall. Can you go down? Nope. Want to knock a bit, Brad? Must be here, eh? Oh, yeah. Can I come to me? Can I pull that? Or? Well, hold on a sec. Let me get my flashlight. It's got to go towards me. You? Oh, there. there we go. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, we just finished torquing the head and now we're just about to adjust the valves. Brad's now cranking the engine over by hand and adjusting the valves. And before we put the rockers shaft assembly on, I adjusted the valve bridges to zero lash. Here you have a carbon dam which seals the compression from the getting out past the nozzle and a sealing washer and a, this is what they call a bleed screw right here. And these uh, nozzles are remanufactured. Came with the uh, reman head. I'm just pulling out the uh, plastic plugs. Then he needs.
Oh, Phil sent all the bolts out to get chrome that hold the uh, valve cover bases on. So I just have to uh, get some other studs so I can hold this together to keep the sand out when he sandblasts the engine. 